Welcome to the Audio Coach Training Academy. This video tutorial shows you how to perform a firmware upgrade on a media or media pack device. To obtain the firmware for the devices, you must have login authentication to the Audio Codes website at www.audiocodes.com. If you do not have a login, you can register to get one by selecting the register link in the upper right hand corner of the web page. Fill out the registration form. It may take a day or two to get your login as audio codes will have to validate your information. Once you receive via email that your account has been enabled, you can log into the web page. Note that once logged in, your name will appear at the top of the web page. Hover over the services and support link on the web page. When the menu appears, select Downloads, Documentation, and Software. On the Product Documentation and Software page, click the drop-down menu for the type of information you are looking for. In this case, select Software. Next, choose the product family. This is the type of hardware or software you're looking to upgrade. For example, we selected SBC and Media Gateways. Now select the hardware type in the product field. In this example, we picked Media 1000. Lastly, select the firmware version that you want to upgrade to, such as 7.0. Once this is complete, the web page updates to show you the selection of firmware and resources that are available for that release. Locate the firmware load to be downloaded and click the link to start the download process. The Citrix Share File window opens. Fill in the required fields and accept the terms and conditions, then click the download button. Save this file to your PC or network share. Locate the file to ensure it is on your PC or network share, as we will need to navigate to this later. Navigate to the audio codes device to be upgraded and log in with your username and password or use the default case sensitive admin admin if still available. It is best practice to ensure that the current configuration running in RAM has been saved to flash by clicking the burn button and it is backed up to the PC before starting the upgrade. Using the device actions drop down menu, select save configuration. This opens the configuration file web page. You can also access the web page by clicking the maintenance button, expanding the software update folder, and selecting the configuration file web page. Now click the save INI file button and save the configuration to your PC or a network share. It is always best practice to save the configuration file to a share so it is available to others if the device were ever needed to be reloaded. Now we are ready to upgrade the device. Select Software Upgrade Wizard from the Device Actions drop down menu. You can get to the same web page by navigating to the Maintenance button, clicking Software Update, and then the Software Upgrade Wizard. Click the Start Software Upgrade button. The Software Upgrade Wizard window will appear. Navigate to the location where the new firmware file is stored on your PC or network share by clicking the Browse button. The file names for the operating software for the audio codes device contains the product type, firmware version, major and minor fixes, and ends in a suffix of .cmp. Click the Load File button to upload the firmware to flash memory on the device. Notice that there are several steps listed for the software upgrade wizard. If additional files need to be loaded, then click the Next button at the bottom of the page and follow the instructions on each stage of the wizard. If all that is being changed is the firmware load, then click the Reset button, and the device will apply the new firmware load along with the existing configuration and auxiliary files. This step could take four or more minutes depending upon the device being upgraded. Once the automated process has completed, Click the End Process button to close the wizard and then log back onto the device. Depending upon the firmware version, you may get a pop-up indicating the firmware level has changed. 
You can also verify this by looking at the firmware version field on the home page. We hope you have found this video useful. If you need more information, you can download our documents from www.audiocodes.com library.